expecting. I was expecting puppies that weigh one pound. It's not expecting puppies on a pound. I want my money back. I can never ever look at a bag of potato chips the same ever again. Walked into Kroger, saw a bag of chips, it was just a brown bag, plain brown bag, and it had two words on it. Sea salt. Aww. I cannot look at those chips without that. <laughs> Wendy's do natural cut fries made with sea salt. Oh, that just does not sound good. <laughs> And if you ask me, I will be 
feeling. Don't tell me you're too proud to see oh. that I'm gonna give you up <laughs> and I'm gonna let you down.
This is awesome! No, no, no. This is the best con ever! Oh my god! They dropped the N word and lose loud! Oh my god, this is just awesome! And just think, you almost missed out. Chicken and fries. Wow. <laughs> we can make an effort. It's not a keeper. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Incoming. Oh. Gotta take my chicken. Are you gonna keep getting hot wire cards, man? Just a single hot wire cards. Oh. 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 He's busy drinking. The mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, oh, oh man. We need some watermelon. Nope. Even watermelon. Even the watermelon would be perfect right now. <laughs> Somebody, Bucktown requires watermelon. Where, where's the nearest produce store? <laughs> There's like a Kroger's down the street. Thank you so much. This is awesome. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. I've been out in the cotton fields, been cotton all day. <laughs> well, I'm sitting on the porch with my monkey shirt on. <laughs> and, 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 uh, oh, 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. We got the chicken posse here. I don't, I don't care what Chris Tucker said. I don't care about the radio. You don't touch me like, man, chicken. <laughs> Uh-oh. You're not uh -oh. black. Get away. <laughs> no, but he scares the shit out of me. Never would take triplets. Let's hear it word. Like to me. 
Since they fly me so often, all around the world, I rack up frequent flyer miles like they're going out of style. And that's nice because I often get upgraded first class. That's one of the reasons I dress this way. If you're going to be in first class, you might as well look the part, right? <laughs> I mean, you here fly uh, more than once a year. Not too many. Let me tell you a little bit about the idea of first class and the, uh, the etiquette of first class. When people get into first class, the rule is the other people getting onto the plane, you don't look them in the eye. You just kind of open your Wall Street Journal and you keep your face in it because you don't want to see them glowering at you. See, you're up front in this seat that's as wide as this stage. Yep. And, and they're going back to sit in this seat, which is about half as wide as the one you're sitting in now. And their knees are in the back of the seat in front of them. God help them if the person had them reclines. Not to say that you'd recline very far. Ever tried to recline an airplane seat? I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. Uh, bring your seat back up, sir? Oh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> so, in first class, you never look at the people getting on board. I do. I do because I'm a dick like that. I'm like... <laughs> As the people were lining up, uh, a young fellow, uh, 15, 16 years old, he might even be here for all I know, uh, he got up. I was in the very, very first seat on the aisle. So I'm the first thing you see getting on the plane. Here I am, you know, a middle aged gentleman, businessman with a tie, and a big Wall Street Journal, and all that stuff. So you know, <clears throat> looking at the Wall Street Journal, we going by. Boy had a, a, a t shirt with, with derpy hoods on. And I looked up at my Wall Street Journal, and I said, That's a nice t shirt. Thanks. So you're welcome. Roll <laughs> You should have seen his eyes. It's like, dude, no way! I'm like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I am not. Um, I've watched it, the show. It's a, a lovely show, but I, I haven't quite, um, I guess, join the cult, you might say. There's <laughs> <laughs> so many friends who say, you gotta watch this, man, you gotta watch it. It's like, they, they're heroin addicts, but you, gotta, you just gotta see it. Like, it's, it's amazing. There are people who like, play it, yeah, but like, dude, chill. You know, I've already got my psychoactive drug. Thank you. <laughs> A couple of months ago, I had my first class seat. The nice thing about first class is the wine is free. And they just keep bringing it. <laughs> now, you can build up incredible upper body strength. Because I've got this, this exercise going, because as soon as you hold your glass out, they just appear out of thin air with a brand new bottle and they'll fill it for you. So I got this little thing going here, you know, it's fill in, in this. It's just a rhythm. I can do this for six hours going across the country. Yeah, it, it's like pour, thank you, nom, pour. Pour, thank you, nom, more. Pour, thank you, nom, more. <laughs> Coming home, I gotta sit on this side to build up this side too. You know, or thank you, nom more. Or thank you, nom more. By the end of the flight, it's like side of the plane, I can lift a car with this arm. <laughs> For this, that's why, really. Anyway, uh, I'm sitting there, and, and I'm, I'm doing my exercise, getting ready, and of course the people are getting on, and they gotta, they gotta stand and wait in the aisle, because there's always some guy trying to put a lawn tractor up into the overhead bin. <laughs> you see them coming on, they're dragging something that could fit a full-grown gorilla in it, and then they're pulling back, it's hitting people in the heads, and bumping their elbows, and they're saying, no, it'll fit, it'll fit, it'll fit now. 
So, while I was sitting, a U.S. serviceman in uniform, desert camel, got on and didn't talk to any member of the military. There's something that for many, many, many years, service people have referred to as the thousand yard stare. This kid had it. He had been through something there's no way I'm going to ever imagine. And it had probably ruined his day. He didn't look all that happy. So I looked up, you know, just right there, I'm in the middle of the exercise, I stopped. I looked up at him, and he was kind of looking just down ahead. I said, I beg your pardon, soldier. And he snapped out, he looked at me, and I said, where are you seated? He said, well, uh, I'm in 15E. I said, 15E, is it all right if I send a drink back your way? Snap to it. He said, yes, sir. I said, that's more like it. All right. Get back where you belong. We'll take care of it. <laughs> so the plane took off. You know, even while it was taken off, he got it, got it kind of attended. He would hold the glass like this because the plane's ankle. So it was like a poor thing. I had to, like, drink through your ear. <laughs> so uh, we got up and, and let it off. A little ding went off. And the flight attendants immediately jump up, start opening another bottle for him. Because I fly a lot. They know me. So as they're doing it, I sat for it. I said, uh, excuse me. Uh, there's a soldier back in 15E. They said, yes, we saw him get on. I said, great. Could you go back and get him, bring him up here, tell him I want to trade seats with him? And they looked at me and I said, come on. So they went back and a couple minutes later the soldier came kind of holding his duffel, looking a little confused, not sure what was going on. I stood up and I said, there you are. You're wondering where you were. Have a seat. And he looked at me and I said, go on. I'm going to go sit back where you were. And he said, thank you, sir. I said, no, don't thank me. See, they, they put my flabby old ass up here because I fly a lot. I don't know what the heck you've been through this week, but whatever it is, you probably deserve this seat more than I do. So he sat down. I said, just keep doing this. They'll take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay. 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 Enjoy yourself. Okay. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Wow. Don't don't take it too much. <laughs> okay, you have fun now. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry.